So here's the Alexa app on the iPad. So if you look, you open it up, it has home now playing. If you're playing things from the radio, you can see what's playing. Um, To-do lists, shopping list. You got timers, alarms, skills. Then you have your Amazon Music Library, Prime Music. Then you could link a Pandora account, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, which I believe came as a default account. So I don't think I had to actually set up TuneIn. Uh, if you have an Audible account, you can set that up. There's settings, things to try, and help. So if you go into, let's just say, settings, and you come over here, you can see Scott's Echo, set up a new device. You can see your history. And then you could say like, okay, th let's do a setting. So sports update, traffic. So here, let's just go to flash briefing. So flash briefing, now you have the options to pick. So you have like NPR news, you can turn it off and on. BBC, uh, CNN, and then you could do like ESPN radio sports center. So that's a new one. So let's turn that on. Okay, um, Fox Sport Hourly Update. Let's get that one on. Oops. Okay. And um, say so Bloomberg Market Minute. And that's a whole bunch of things for your, your daily briefing. So it's kind of neat. TMZ News, you know, like all these different things. So whatever you want to listen to. And then, you know, like it'll go in this order. Right? I haven't figured out a way to change the order. But it'll say like, okay, so this, the blue means that I'm actually like turned that news flash on. So it'll start with BBC. And then uh, if I want to go to the next, I could just say Alexa next. And then it'll go to ESPN radio. And then it'll go to the next. Or, or it'll just keep you know going through if you listen to the whole news brief. So it's pretty cool. I mean, it's all handled in the app. And they keep adding functionality, which is neat. Uh, say you want to see what's on your to-do list, you could just go to to-do list. And then you have that, you know, go Christmas shopping, a shopping list. Okay, big pens. And then it's kind of neat because I mean, this is on an iPad, so you know, I'm probably not going to walk through the store with this, but your phone has these same lists. So, okay, I bought big pens. Let me just check it off. Oops. And now I have to cross that off. The other thing is, if you go back to home, it kind of shows you a history of everything you've done. So you could see, like, um, I've added this to the to do list. I've added that um, big pens and crossed that off. I've set a timer for two minutes. I've listened to an audible book, The Godfather. You know, I've listened to Bloomberg featured interview. You know, so you could actually just, you know, click on any of these things. Here's a podcast I listened to. You know, it was a yellow submarine. So whatever it is, you know, it kind of gives you the history of everything that you've actually looked up or listened to. So it's pretty, pretty comprehensive. And it just helps if you want to just quickly listen to something again, oh, that podcast, let me just click on it and it'll should play the latest episode. All right, so that's a quick overview of the app. I think it's, you know, it's a pretty good app. And especially with the phone and the lists, it really is pretty handy. All right, I will talk to you later. Any questions, throw it in the comments. All right, thanks, bye.